Hey guys, Redrox here from Rocket League Mods. So, this is a continuation of the last video. So, I've just added a, another. I've copy and pasted this blocking volume, and I'm going to create a mesh out of it. And then I'm going to change it to be semi see through so that everyone can see that it's a goal. If you can actually see it when you get above it. So, I've just set my package and everything. So, there we go. And if I move this. Alright, so there's my goal, and there's my other goal. I don't need this one anymore. Okay. Just grabbing my... No, not that one. There you go. Just going to grab my mesh for the goal. Gonna chuck into a different view, make sure I line it all up properly. There it is, that's all lined up. So it's probably not perfectly lined up. You can see there's still a couple of things different, but because if the ball falls in there, it's gonna fall in anyway. I suppose I could move it across one. Oh, I suppose I can't. Um, but yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Right on center. So that means that this isn't on center actually. Uh, that's what it is. I'm just going to actually center this because that just annoys me. Ugh. It's very annoying. This is annoying me a bit now because I keep selecting that light. I'm going to have to go as far in as I can and then make one edit. Oh, really? Alright, bye light. It's very weird. Okay, I'll try setting the pivot to the center to make sure that I'm in the right spot. Uh, pivot. Move to center. Well, really? That is so annoying. Alright, um... Attempt two, I'm gonna try and get rid of grid snap, because... There you go, I've moved it a bit. That's about as good as it's going to get. Alright, so that should be measuring up properly now. So I've got the blocking, or not the blocking, I've got the goal volume and everything. So I'm going to keep back on to day two. Alright, um. The mesh is at the right level or not? Because I can't see it right now. Uh, let's move it up a bit. Just to measure up. There we go. So I'm going to give this a proper texture. So the texture I'm going to give it is from the engine debug, because this is probably the one with the most textures in it. Selecting materials so I can see which ones I want. Um, ooh, one of these is semi-transparent, I think. This one is. Whoa. Nope. That doesn't look red at all. That's weird. Alright. Um, geometric. There we go. That's semi transparent. I can't. I don't really like the color. Ah, oh, is, is this a goal? Here we go. There we go. Terrain collision material. Um, I suppose that works. Alright, so that's going to be my goal. Do I need to change anything else on it? No, because it's a mesh, it applies it to the whole mesh. Um, 
Sweet, that's that one done. Alright, so now I can do the goal on top. Now the goal on top is interesting because I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I might just copy this. So I'm copying the goals right now, that's the goal itself. I might just copy that and pop it on top. There you go, that'll do. So now it's right on top there. It just has to touch the top. It doesn't actually have to go in because there's nowhere for it to go into because it's the top of a cylinder. So there's that done. Got these goals there. Um, do I need to change anything on the goal? Let's have a look. I might need to make a new goal because I just copy and pasted a goal. I need to make a new one, select the same object. Um, team points to award. One point. And this one can also have one point. There we go. At the moment, I don't know how to do um, different goals for different teams, so we'll just leave it at that. Okay. There we go. That's the goal set up. Uh, I don't know what me uh, sorry material to give it. I might just chuck a grey on it. How does that look? That looks shit. Alright, how about this one? That doesn't look like anything. Maybe I put it onto the wrong thing. Nope. Alright, well anyway, before I keep going, I'm going to save all. I had a lot of issues with this in the past. How does this one look? It's real weird. I don't know why it's doing that, it doesn't usually. That's what it's supposed to do. Something to do with the level of, level of detail. Ah, oh, it's probably lighting. There you go. So I'll have to do this on all the sides. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a shortcut to do this, but I just can't think of it right now. Something about repeating or grabbing the selected material. Mm. Apply material. All right, so maybe I can, maybe I can select all the ones that I want to apply it to. See if that works. There we go. That works. Solid. Oops. Wrong one. Alright. That's the top stun and the outside. Um, Okay. There we go. Um, the bottom material I'll change as well, even though you can't really see it. Okay, I'm not sure what I want the actual suit to be. Let's have a look at this. How does that look? It doesn't look bad. It's lacking a bit of color, but. I suppose the more colour it has, the worse it's actually going to end up being. That's way too bright. Very reflective. I suppose I could give it this one and just have you driving around on a wireframe material. It's interesting, isn't it? No, I won't do that. Um, there's other materials as well, but, oh look, the sand material, yes, okay, any other materials, engine materials, one of these, ah, this one works, I couldn't get, um, editor materials to work, it always crashes for some reason, um, oh, this is the one I was after, that. 
edit a brush. That's what I wanted on this mesh. Oops, wrong one. And then this. Oh, I can't because I've changed it already. Um, let's see. How do I select it? Let's go into this view. While I'm at it, I'll do this one. And apply. Where is it? Can I not do that from here? Well, that's annoying. What if I do that? There we go. What if I do that and look up? Did that work? I don't know. Alright. So I've got two of those. I've got to go down now and check out the lower half. Here we go. Ah, oh, it did work. Personally, actually, I like the other one better. Yeah, we'll leave it there for now. And go in here and I'll also... Look, it blinks. That's cool. Let's do that. Because why not? Oh, it looks cooler when it doesn't have everything. How cool is that? Oh, well. Alright. That's the goals done. Um, so that's pretty much all the aesthetics, aesthetics right now done. I might add a, another, just to test it out, I might add another actual, where are you, selected, a platform down here, just to make sure that the ball doesn't hit anything underneath. Oh, I don't really need to do that, I'll just copy that and move it up. I need it to be right in line. I suppose a bit over is better than a bit under. Oh, that's probably why. I didn't line it up here. Silly me. Okay, let's grab this. Uh, pivot. Move here. That's about right. That'll do. So now it's not measured up. I must have moved it a bit far. Everything's off center. It's very annoying. Oh well, that'll do. Okay, that's that done, and I just need to move up. Uh, all of the path nodes, so here we go, here we go, and here we go, move those ones up, actually I need to check out the kismet to make sure that there's no random goals spawning stuff, anyway, alright, so which ones is this is using, 0 and 3, so there are 3 nodes here, ah, oh, this one is 0, this one is three. So what's this? Four. All right. Well, four is not being used. I buy four. Okay. Oh, actually, I'll leave four in there. This can be our player two spawn point. Maybe I'll give him a little platform to stand on for spawning. That'll be interesting. Here we go, that's decision. Here's a platform. Let's move you to there. There we go. This will do for one. Hmm. Yep. Blocking. Oh, it's got carrot on it. I don't really want that, but. That's okay. Oh, no. I'll undo it. There we go. Uh, let's give it... What material do we want? Volume? No. Yeah, why not? We'll do this. And that's that semi-see-through. 
see, is it 7C here? No, it just looks cool. Alright, and the other one. Did I add a blocking volume? Let's see. No, I didn't. Damn it. Blocking volume, there we go. Okay, very messy. Quick move. Um, where am I? One, two across. Yeah, I just measured these little square things. So, one, two, one, two. Drag that one across. It's still off, but I can't really do anything about it. I'm sure there's a way, I just haven't logicked it in my mind yet to how I do it properly. This one's on the line, that's very sad. Alright, well anyway. Uh, add again, blocking volume, there we go, that's our two spawn points done. Now where's the ball going to go? Maybe I'll put the ball on a... One in the middle. Yeah, why not? Right, Mr. Ball, you can go here. Is that low enough? Yes. Ooh, maybe there. So I'm deciding to put it a bit lower because I want them there to be ball play around this area. So when they go off, they'll have to jump. And if they go, no, I have to move it up a bit. Otherwise, I won't be able to reach it in time. Alright, so I suppose when the game starts, I'll spawn the ball up a bit. So this is the ball spawn, I believe. There you go. So the ball can spawn here, and it can fall from there. Or from there. There we go. That, there, that's where it can fall from. That's alright. Alright, so I haven't actually added anything here. Okay, so chucking in a blocking volume just a normal one I don't um, I don't usually use the square method just because well this is a cylindrical map sort of so there's not really any much point in doing a square one in a cylindrical map it just doesn't really suit it so there's that that should be done now blocking volume set up yep um, exiting out of this alright and Spawn point, so spawn point one or two, whatever. Can go here. Is that close enough? Looks pretty close. And this other one can go. Same spot on the other side. So I've measured the middle and I've gone, I believe, two above it. It's not snapping for some reason. Maybe it is snapping, I just don't know it. No, it's not snapping, it's so weird. Maybe nodes just don't snap. That's okay. Is there a... Oh, no button to snap to grid? Alright, so how far off is this one? Alright, so it's right... going to be right in the middle. Right, and one unit above. So right in the middle, one unit above. Bad size, a bit over one unit above. Nope. Strange, this one didn't have bad size. Alright, how about two units above? Alright. So if I build all now, hopefully I won't have any errors. I might change the middle platform to be a different colour. Uh, 
I might also put a couple more spawn points so it's random randomized and you spawn in one of them. There we go. Not invalid thing, path node four. Which one's path node four? It must be the ball one because it's in the air. It shouldn't matter. Ah, I need to set destination only for these path nodes. So going into my scene, uh, selecting like type path node. Uh, destination only. There we go. Alright, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and build this, and then that will be the end of this tutorial. So any errors that we get um, after w uh, going into it in-game, we'll deal with. No critical errors, so that should be able to be actually played. Let's see what happens. Oops, wrong one. Uh, yep. That just works. Oh. Oh, that's why. I had it in the wrong folder. Where did I save hexagon package? Okay, let's go find out where it's gone. Maps. All oh, right, but UPK. All right, that should have copied it. Just in case. I did save all, I believe. Oh, I didn't save all. Alright, um... Engine materials is a startup package. That's okay. No, I don't want to save it. That's okay. No, I don't want to save it. That's okay. Alright, everything else saved, so that's okay. So something somewhere went terribly wrong. Let's see it. Date modified. Are they all good? So they did actually copy across. So that should be working now. Okay. Rocket League. So regardless of what happens when I open this map, this will be the end of this part of the map creation one. So after this one, I'll either fix errors or I'll maybe I'll go on to add boost pads or something. All right, so I'm in the game. The ball has fallen. This is a huge map right now. Let's test some stuff out, and it hits it. Woo! See how it looks. This is huge. If anyone can do air dribbling, <laughs> this is what it's going to come down to. Bonk. And here is the top. Oh, didn't get textured. I must be missing the material. That's the top. Ah, there's some seams here. Let's have a look. Oh god. Oh no. Oh shit. I believe. No. Must be to do with the speed at which I hit it. Yeah. Interesting thing to note. Alright, so hitting it face on isn't that bad. It's when you hit it nose first. <laughs> Alright. There you have it, everyone. <laughs>
Don't hit it nose first. See, that one's fine. Which means it must, in fact, be only when you hit the interactive foley ejector and go through the map. I'm not sure how I get around that. I may just make it a mechanic, a gameplay thing, and you have to get back in again. Oh, hey, look at that! Back in. Um, perhaps if I add an identical mesh a tiny bit further through, it can stop that. What the, really? That's just annoying. I wasn't even doing anything that time. Oh god. It's just hitting it too hard. But on the plus side, other than that, working fine. How's the sticky walls going? Oh look, it's not. It's running away. Maybe you can have a racing map going around the side and blow each other up. Alright, well, that is the end of this tutorial anyway. Or well, this part of the map. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. I always love not being able to go into my map. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll have to figure something about that out later. Okay. And that's it for this part.